Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Topping our news tonight, the McCamey Animal Center is under some scrutiny. Yesterday, Chattanooga's Chief Operating Officer Andrew Keene requested a formal review of the shelter. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell joins us now with details. Kelsey? That's right, Calvin. Chattanooga COO Andrew Keene sent a letter to the city's auditor, Stan Sewell, yesterday. He says someone recently came forward claiming McCamey's leadership and how they pay executive director Karen Walsh need to be inspected. Now the city is looking into what could be the mishandling of the budget or a mere dispute between former co-workers. McCamey Animal Center's executive director, Karen Walsh, says it started with a phone call last night. Andrew Kane contacted me and asked if we could make records available for uh, Stan Sewell, and uh, of course we can. The city of Chattanooga appropriated over one and a half million dollars to McCamey for fiscal year 2014. In his letter to city auditor Stan Sewell, COO Andrew Keene says events occurred that should be inspected. The event, a July 31st board meeting in which Walsh's annual bonus was discussed and approved. Someone at the board level at the time recently came forward and said they never voted on the bonus. However, the discussion and approval with a majority vote were found in the meeting's minutes on McCamey's website. Walsh and the center staff plan to use this week promoting an exciting opportunity. PetSmart Charities chose McCamey and Chattanooga as their feature for a nationwide campaign launching this week. <laughs> However, Walsh's attention has turned to the city's review. I think that in government, fiscal responsibility for funding is very important. And so if someone accuses someone of doing anything that's wrongdoing, then proving that that's not true is very important. Per the city's website, they last audited the center in August of 2011, and it cost them around $12,000. We have many layers here of financial responsibility, and the city has already audited us in the past, so uh, Stan Sewell is familiar with how well we manage ourselves here. I spoke with Stan Stuhl over the phone this morning. He expects to begin work on the review next week, but doesn't expect it to take nearly the amount of time or money to complete as the audit in 2011. Calvin.